In this video, we play the mighty Tiger 2, but by accident, I chose the wrong one. So for this episode, we trade the 88 for the much larger and much more powerful 105mm on the Tiger 2 chassis. Hope you enjoy this intro. Alright, here we go. Okay, we're a bit of a, bit of a pickle here. Yep. Unlucky Mr. Shumbo. It's like the last thing you want to see. Well, you're in a jumbo, right? The Giga Chonk firing a 105mm slug at you. Oh, Praga. Yeah. I thought if we hit his engine, we'd just overpressure the rest of his crew, and it did and certainly do that. 340 grams of TNT equivalent, and his crew are dust. It's an ASU 85. It's like 400, right? That's the one. Okay. That's a big target to kill. Excuse me, Mr. Corpse. I, I might have a cast plane coming after me very shortly. It's over for us, I think. I got an engine hit. That bomb skipped. We're good. That better be my kill, by the way. Ah, uh, that's an IS-3. I did get my kill. Okay, I got his cannon barrel. I've no idea how we got his cannon barrel. Surely he backs off now, right? Unless he's got a track out. Nice. Come on. That was nicely done. <laughs> Not as nice as that, though. <laughs> Unlucky, big man. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I originally had planned to play the Tiger 2 H SLA 16. This is a premium tank for the German tech tree, but because I'm stupid and I haven't played in a long while, I actually picked this thing by mistake. I played the first two games without realizing it, basically. I was like, hey, this reload feels kind of long. Uh, and here we are, we're doing a Tiger 105mm cannon. Now, the reason I chose to play a Tiger 2 was because some BRs have been changed that makes it a little bit more fair to play as in more fair for this thing and not more fair for the things that sit in the BRs below it. So I thought we'd see just how we would get on. Now, obviously I haven't played for a long while. It's been almost a month, actually. I was just sorting out some real life things that oh, I don't want to get into because this channel is here for entertainment purposes and an entertaining video I have for you today. So the main meat for the Tiger 2 105 is it has a much improved engine. I think it's got 150 horsepower more than the standard Tiger 2, but mainly it's for the cannon this thing has. It's a 105, has 251 millimeters of penetration. That's just a little bit more than the 88, but where it does better, of course, is an angle penetration and post penetration. Post penetrating damage, this has got 340 grams equivalent of TNT, which is insane. Now, because of the bigger cannon, you've got some trade offs. You've got 8 degrees of gun depression less, and of course, a much longer reload time. 16 seconds with an expert crew is pretty decent for the firepower this thing has, but I think the Tiger 2H in its normal sort of <laughs> configuration with an 8 second reload with an expert crew and a cannon that's just slightly worse. This is probably the better contender. It doesn't mean, though, that we can't have fun with this boy. Now, before we get into battle, a huge thank you for everyone who's still supporting the channel, especially over on Discord and Patreon. You guys have basically kept me fed over the last month. We need to really get back into some videos. And as well, it looks like Gaijin have kept their promise of basically improving the economy and obviously fixing some of these BR traps. Well, we'll see. That's why we're playing today. Anyway, let's get into battle and I'll show you how we get on. Right, have we got a 7-3 game? Oh, I've got a fancy camo and I forgot to select it. Never mind. I guess we're just running over this water tower. I was going to sit kind of bold out here, but it's probably... Oh, okay. That just disappeared and it used to do a cool collapse animation, but... Exposing our full side. That was a good lead, but... Do I need to be scared of you is a question. It's probably range finding me right now, yeah? He's got a buddy behind him. Okay, it said I only killed his radiator, but I can quite clearly see a lot of dead crew. And his gunner's still alive. Oh, 
what is that a scorpion where did he go I oh, just stopped he's dead yeah it was a scorpion right there goes the SPH no kill for us that's all right we did see a T29 or T34 back there so oh they smoked oh we got a sneaky Japanese SPG thing back there an M18 Yeah, yeah, back up. Okay. I am the way to I. Things got really good reverse speed. I can see the little st sneaky Japanese thing going back there. There's a big guy I saw. I think tried to help that SPH. Now that big guy can't really hurt me unless he gets an awkward shot on me or loads APCR. So there's an opportunity here. There goes the Type 60. Oh, this thing can hurt me though. He's done. And that's a priority target right there. STA1. Right, where's the T32 at? I hear a jet already. Probably ours though, right? Nope. It was not. Oh, the big man's moving again. There we go. That's what we like to see. Right, where's this aeroplane? I need to be careful behind me as well because my teammates don't have a really good angle there. Well, my 122 just shot someone and never killed them, I don't think. What's shooting you? Ah. He's way back. It's an F2H. Oh, look what it is. It's a tuto. Okay. Right, I got his commander through the cupola. I was expecting a lot more damage than that, but unfortunately not. I think we're doing okay though, like our team. It's just a. Uh, oh my goodness, look at this. Another scorpion. Oh, look at me. Yeah, the other guy died next to the tutel. There's a heavy tank back on C, it's a T-34. So, we're changing priorities. Never mind. As you were, boss. What is this Japanese plane? Okay, I don't think he's got bombs. He's just flying anti gas. The T28 just fired. He he is coming. Anti you? Yeah. Goodbye. And there goes the T28. He was too busy pushing me. Right, our target priority has been pretty good, considering I'm using all my brain function because I've not been playing for a whole month. That might be an enemy back there. It is an enemy back there. Is there any way I can get a shot on him? Is the question. It's an M51. It's really Sherman. I don't know if I'm able to hit him. Oh, he's pushing up though. All right, we're going into height mode. I can maybe hit his turret and hopefully the explosive damage will... Okay, he's backing off again. Uh, we'll wait on that. Give us a second. He's coming back out again. There we go. I managed to hit his hull. Right. B cap's getting taken? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the guy from the start? Look. Wasn't reloaded in time. But he's fighting a object 268, which I don't think is good. He's done. 
Super Sniper. All right, not many, many enemies left, and a lot of them are an aircraft, so... That is an A1H, and the reason I can tell is he's the only low-tier thing that's got flares. Where's the jumbo? I tried. <laughs> okay. Um, there's a Centurion Mark 1 over this way too, right? I think we do push out now. I don't think there's any chance of us actually losing this, judging by how many enemies are actually left, which is not very many. Right, I think we're good on the right side. I just saw someone fire this way. That was heat, right? It's another M51. Oh no, I think we're in trouble here. Okay, bounced it. Good reload though for his size of cannon. That's the jumbo. Brother, I am having a bad day with the, the long 88. Okay, transmission's good. My gunner, I was trying to move my mouse up a little bit and it just wasn't happening. My turret ring is busted. No, I can't see. Right, we're good. This jumbo... Oh no, it's not a jumbo. It's an RT-32. Right, we're, we're okay. Uh, we're alive, but the game is over. Not bad for a 7-3 match. No turret ring. <laughs> Can't deal with him. Big, big skill issue in the end, but we got there. Right, here we go then. So, funny story. I actually meant to play the premium tiger, but it turns out I picked this one by mistake. So now we're making a video on this. It's, a, it's as good a, a reason to make a video on a vehicle as any, to be honest with you. I should have turned right ages ago. Right, I've gone the wrong way, but we're going to make something of this anyway. I just don't like enemies be able to cross this bridge and get on our side of the map. So it's important to me we get over here quickly. Is that a jumbo? It was a jumbo. There's literally nothing he can do. So I think we're good on the, the bridge front here. Which means I can tuck myself in this way and then I can back in and out of here if we get our turret disabled or whatever. Oh no. Where is that guy? Oh, I'm being artilleried now. Oops, that's not what I want to do. We're gonna... Try not to get shot from behind, I guess. But also not get artilleried. A T-92 here. Okay. There's lots of things coming over this bridge. I might get pushed from behind and that's bad. Because there's nobody over here. Come on, big fella. I know you can steer better than this. There we go. That's the one. Can I save this tiger? Nope. You're pushed from the other side as well. The T-82 is in that gap. Okay, there goes the T-26 thingy. Okay, engine transmission radiator will do. Just means he can't really do it once. I don't know if we just set this guy on fire over and over. Oh no, there's a guy there as well though. Okay, I hit the other fella that was next to him. He was already dead, but I think he just died too. Yeah, he did. Nice, okay. We're reloading again. Okay, F80 has decided he doesn't want to live anymore. 
Oh, damn, dude. I, it didn't pin. I am too low. I'm actually in a really good spot, though. There, there are enemies coming up behind me, 100%. I should maybe turn my attention on that. But I just don't want anyone else pushing this bridge again. Here comes another M51 through there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Oh, and then the M51 now peaks, right? Right, uh, the guy, my teammate's bombing that side. This guy's not facing me, is he? It's a big T-series tank. Oh, we could probably deal with this one first. Super purging. I'd really like to see a much bigger explosion when you pen something like that. <laughs> with a shell this size, you know? Right, big bite. Number two. No! <laughs> Reverse. He's dead. Yeah, maybe time to turn our attention on the guys behind us. Probably a good idea. Alright, Matt. Praga is bullying this one of the heavy tanks anyway. Oh, that was a dude right here and I've never seen him. He's getting shot at. Right, I'll ignore him for now, I guess. And uh, see if we can see any... Oh, no, this is bad. Okay, good. Scorpion? He dropped off into the water. He's, he must be down there somewhere. Okay, one of these guys died. M51, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. It's done for. Oh no! Yeah, it's time to evacuate. Oh, that's two here. Is that a bulldog? There's a bulldog. Can I even pin this? Nope. I didn't think so. My Praga will eventually kill that thing, so... I should probably focus on the guys on this end. I'm going to have to shoot that thing in the cupola. The tutel. Oh, he died. Which means the bulldog's still out here somewhere, right? If he is, I can't see him. And we've still got... There he is. I've still got this uh, T26 E5 behind me, who's now fighting that T4400. Okay. Oh my god, this guy is eating. He tried it, dude. He tried it. So we only got five kills, right? Six. But our, our team is doing such a good job. Oh, it's a T-34, he's gone. Finally. I do not see the Scorpion anywhere. No ordnance. Ah. That's a problem. <laughs> I didn't even hear those bombs. There's a different plane, by the way. A different plane. Well, let's go 262. Oh, it's an F2G. That right there is a problem. He's very fast and turns much better than I do. But he's not as fast as me when we're doing 800 kilometers an hour, so I'm pulling him over this SPA. As long as I stay behind them, we're okay. Let's 
got to keep people off this ACAP. And I did see an enemy here. There he is. Big boy. We'll take a couple of crits. Keep our speed up and get away from this F2G. For as long as we can keep it up, at least. Oh! Aquarian just slapped his wing off. Uh, I would be upset, dude. He held a straight line to try and catch me, I think, and then it was his undoing. Right, there was somebody in this building complex that I saw. Oh yeah, there's an SPA down here. And he's got a friend. The anti-air, I'm not worried about. Okay, I did actually take that guy's turret crew out. I don't think my teammates are worried about the SPA. Oh, I see another one that's got side shots on my team. So he's next. The SPA is still focusing on shooting stuff on the ground, so... Bad shot. Okay, that's going to be detrimental. A T-29 just killed our tortoise, though. Nice. Okay, we're coming back around. Plenty of ammo. No threats in the sky that I see immediately anyway oh there's a guy on the the cap excuse me a bit of a sore throat oh where are where is this guy he's just hiding on the cap somewhere what on earth where is he I'll come straight down there's a guy in the water as well where is the guy on the cap? Okay, got that guy on fire. <laughs> I have no idea where this guy is on the cap. He has to be in a building or something, right? I literally cannot see him. Oh, we're capping it now. <laughs> the 268. He's actually in the water. Upside down or on his side at least. Right, no. No, RT. <laughs> Can I save this guy? Oh, there's an R3. We'll get a couple of shots on this thing and then we're, we're dead, I think. Okay, good, I saved them. Where is this T-92, dude? He's so sneaky. Right, I see the R3, he's away by there. My team are being, like, hyper-aggressive. And they're losing because of it. Yeah, I see him, I'm, I'm going in for him, but... That's a, that's a T-92. Okay, I hurt him. Oh, I hit his barrel. He stopped the repair, I think. Right, he's not moving anywhere anyway, at least. I wonder if he's in that church. Like, maybe there's a sneaky spot there or whatever. Let's get this R3 is going for me again. I'm going to die to him, but I need to get rid of this T-92 if we get any chance of winning this. Oh my god, dude. Well, <laughs> that's the strongest T-92 I think I've ever seen in my life. I need to go on this ACAP, dude, figure out where this guy is. It's this guy. For sure. Sorry, okay, yeah. Oh, we are. it's over, dude. It's over for us. The flag panzer is not shooting the airplane either. Coming for me. Oh, he killed his teammate. It was a, a scorpion. I don't think I can make it to the cab on time. Our team, just usual, dude, like uh, the, the Germanators. 
they got hyper aggressive, didn't deal with the guy on the cart, and we lost on tickets <laughs> because they were too busy pushing us on. Uh, we got the non-aggressive side to this map, but we got a uh, full down tier. I just want to stop the the B rushers, but uh, there's an R3 over here, and you can't stop that, dude. I'm in the slowest vehicle probably, or one of them at least, and we are still up the front. Right, he didn't get the cap, it was an M18. I don't know why he was peeking out that much, but he was, somebody just shot at me. Or was that a teammate trying to shoot something? There's a lot of orange smoke here. Yeah, it was an IS-2 that my teammates were shooting at. I'm gonna... Oops. I'm gonna go in this way. See if anyone's peeking this corner. Nah, nothing. Least aggressive US team. Someone just shot our tiger through this wall. Never mind, there's another M18. Why wouldn't you use your flanking speed? There's no way this guy's trying that. Yeah, okay. Jumbo, I think? Should have just peeked him, but I was worried it would be a M51. That guy died. It was just a, it was just a normal Sherman. Okay, a man tried to kill me. Okay, it was a super Persian. I'm gonna try and use this train car as a bit of cover. Well, we reload. Well, concealment, let's be honest. Right, nothing else is there yet. So it's probably a good opportunity to get out here. It was a Type 75. SPH to fire that mate. Okay, I'm on fire. Oh, it's a PT-76. I'm getting bombed, aren't I? Okay, we're good. Okay, now we can put the fire out. But I'm in a bad spot. At least if I can reload, I'll be happy. There we go. I can defend myself now. A tiger's gone straight for the next road. What a legend. Okay, and he just marked somebody as he drove past. Tiger died to an IS-2. The IS-2 is dead also. I'm pretty sure I'm getting bombed. What did I do from here? Dead Bulldog. Oh yeah, there's an enemy to my right. Another IS, I think. I'm really sad I had to fire at that, but we did. Get back. He didn't. Still somebody alive there. No, it's just grey smoke for no reason, right? I can't believe that didn't. <laughs> I clipped that. I knew it was going to happen too. Okay. Angry boy. Right, this guy's going to get another opportunity to push me again, but... I think he's trying to get round behind me. What is even happening in this area over here? All the things. I want to push up, but the only way I can do it is by smoking. And I don't want to do that because it puts my teammates in a bad spot. Actually... 
We're already in a bad spot. Right, there goes the M18. He tried the flank. Which is fair. Right, we're, we're out. We've escaped to the sea cap. But I think there might be another guy in here on the right side. It could be people engine off somewhere and we're in a bad spot for a brawl. Someone's definitely near sea though. Unless I'm hearing my teammate in the Panther. Alright, we're alive. Unlucky. Bad timing on that guy. It happens to the best of us. Right. Um, Type 75 SPH still mothering everyone. And there's only three enemies left. This thing is a bully. The wrong King Tiger. I know there's an anti hero over here. And that, oh yeah, there he is. Shayna. <laughs> hey, I don't know why he's spinning about. There he goes. Right, we got a, a repair, then a, a reload to go. No, no help repairing, I guess. Oh, he did, he helped. Ow. I am now... Oh! Yeah, we're actually just in the spawn. Like, not even a little bit, a big bit. <laughs> so yeah, this thing is awesome. I don't think it's as good as the Tiger 2 H SLA just because of the reload speed and the shell isn't that much better. It's obviously more reliable when you do pen. When it comes to hitting things with weird angled side shots, the bigger shell obviously makes a huge difference in going through thin armor at much steeper angles. But the reload speed, you're doubling the reload for a wee bit extra. I don't know. I suppose the real sad thing is this thing will never be available ever again. It might come back for an event in a different form, I'm not sure, but as it stands, if you didn't grind this thing out way back when, it must be like four years ago now, uh, or at least close to it, uh, yeah, you, you won't be able to get it. Real shame. Anyway, I'm sorry for being away for so long. If you've got any suggestions of vehicles or things that have been added when, since I've been away, I've actually not been keeping up with any of the news of War Thunder as well. I know there's an event on right now. I don't have these things. There's also a Battle Pass, which I haven't purchased yet, which has a bunch of stuff on it too. We've got this cool thing, which I'll eventually get to. Yeah, this guy. Uh, when we get this, we definitely do a video on that. It looks kind of goofy and fun. Anyway, as always, and as stated at the beginning of this video, thank you to all my patrons and the people who support me on Discord there for keeping me fed for as long as I was gone. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for keeping that up. To all the tier threes on Discord who get a shout out, that's Flubberino, Aries, Sexy White Wolf, Audible Bow, Osar the Dead, Bofe, Cookie Burb, <laughs> The Starry, Fearless Germ, Master Zaint, Mushy Boy, Rusty Stoyan, Toast McGee, War Daddy, Rick Wolf, and Zig. And of course to all the OGs over on Patreon as well. To all the tier threes who get a shout out that Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendricks, the Tackle Guy, Cookie Muncher, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Anderson Win, Brandon aka the Flying Pickle, MB1 Kenobi, Ethan Excavation Nation, Love of a Weevil, Love of a Weasel, Ride, Shaft, Tactonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Varian, Mortarin, Stoyan, David Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.